What's going on? Welcome to the Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. I'm Wave Wire Queen. Today, I'm going to give you a few additional players to consider adding via the Wave Wire. Some of these players may be long-term ads. Some are short-term. And when I mean short-term, like one or two games. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can see more great content from the score fantasy basketball podcast let's jump right into it Rajon Rondo was traded from the Lakers to the Cleveland Cavaliers because Ricky Rubio tore his uh, knee up and is unable to play for the remainder of the season so the Cavs are a playoff team right now and I don't think anyone expected them to be a playoff team but nonetheless they are and they wanted someone to fill Ricky Rubio's role and Ray John Rondo has the potential to do that. He's only played with them for three games. He's played a little over 23, 24 minutes per game. What Rondo can bring to the table is rebounding, assists, steals, and some scoring. So he'll be a stat stuffer if they utilize him in the capacity that they utilized Ricky Rubio. So if Rondo is available, pick him up. He's rostering 18% of Yahoo leagues. He's averaging... His averages are are pretty much not that great, and that's because he really didn't have a consistent role with the Lakers, and there were times where he didn't even play at all. But nonetheless, with the Cavs, he should see a consistent role. If he does end up staying within that 23 to 25 minute range, then he is definitely a long-term ad for your team, especially if he performs at the level that Ricky Rubio was performing. Because let's face it, we all pick Ricky Rubio up off of waivers, or at least in the majority of the leagues that I'm a part of. And that was probably one of the best ads via the waiver wire this season until he suffered the season-ending knee injury. But nonetheless, go on and pick him up. His uh, fantasy averages should increase if he continues to see at least 23 to 25 minutes on a nightly basis. Next ad is Nicholas Batum. He's averaging eight points per game and a little over four and a half rebounds per game. With, with Nicholas Batum, he is going to pretty much be a low volume stat stuffer. I had high expectations for him going into the season with Kawhi Leonard being out and now poor George being out. But, you know, he's been in and out of the lineup and hasn't had a consistent role. Nonetheless, the last few games, he has been playing pretty well. So he's a player you should look at. Now, he's been inconsistent throughout this entire season, so you can expect him to be inconsistent. But if you are struggling one or two games, he may be able to help your team. Now, if he starts playing the way he was during the playoffs last season, then he's a player that you can definitely look at long term. But for right now, take it one game at a time with uh, Batum. And they need all of the help they can with their top two players out in L.A. They need players to step up and Batum has the potential to step up for the Clippers. So look at him and just kind of monitor the situation. If he continues to perform very well, then he's a player that you stick with. Once he starts going downhill and inconsistent again, you drop him ASAP. Dwayne Washington Jr. guard with the Pacers. This is a short-term ad. And in this case, when I mean short-term, it may be for one or two games. He's played well over the last four or five games with um, LeVert being out and Duarte being out. Duarte should be on his way back. Then uh, you'll see Dwayne's role start to decrease. LaVert is still out, but this young man has played exceptionally well. He's only rostered in 3% of Yahoo League, so short-term, definitely short-term. And as soon as he starts to see a decrease in his minutes, his his role pretty much, you know what you need to do. You need to move on from him and move on to the next best thing. But right now, he does have value in daily, daily fantasy basketball leagues. So pick him up. If nothing else, in the daily league, his salary should be extremely low, and he should be a nice filler. One or two games, guys. Please keep it to a minimum with him. And Roy Hachimaru, he's only played a few games so far this season. You know, he's he's been out. And the Washington Wizards started off great, 
but they've kind of come back down to earth. I don't think anyone expected them to start the season as well as they did. They've come back down to earth. Roy is a player that you should definitely stash on your bench if you can afford to do so. A lot of us cannot, but if you can, then he's definitely a player you need to take a look at and stash on your bench. He has the talent. He averaged over 13 points per game and over five and a half rebounds per game last season, which means in a head-to-head -head point space league or any type of point space league, he's definitely going to bring the point totals once his minutes increase. He's on a minutes restriction right now, but you'll start to see that increase and his role will increase and his production will increase. And then you know what's going to happen if you haven't made a move on him? Someone else will, and then you'll miss out. He's a player that will definitely help your team going forward, but just give him some time. Again, when the minutes increase, you'll start seeing his role increase, and that is pretty much what you want from a player. So if you can afford to pick him up and stash him on your bench, then do so because he will help your team out. All right, y'all, make sure you consider these four players again understand their value, whether that is short-term or long-term. The one player that clearly has short-term value, and that is it, is Dwayne. Again, he's a player who has not played pretty much at all this season and was thrown into a, a role because of um, injuries and protocol. Nonetheless, that role will decrease tremendously once Duarte and Lavert return. So remember that. And also Warren at some point, hopefully he'll play again this year. He's been out for quite some time. But nonetheless, he is the player that his value is extremely short. And that may be within the next game or two. So consider him, but be mindful that if you have other players who have more long-term value, then you don't want to make a move on him. But if you don't and you're needing a player to help you, by all means, pick him up. But also remember his point totals is all you're looking at. He's only going to score the ball. He's not going to help you out in any other category statistically. So points based league and short term. And with Rondo, monitor him and understand that he can have long-term value for your team this season because he is going to fill in for rookie, Ricky Rubio. And again, you also got to realize the Cavs did not give up assets to bring Rondo in there just to sit him on the bench. So keep that in mind. All right, y'all, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Peace.